them. Um, I'm lazy like that. And then I just wanted to write a little program that would just tear the stripes off of Tiger. So um, every time I run this, um, it would actually just uh, rip the stripes off of Tiger. And I like reversing it so that the, the Tigers were black and the stripes were yellow, which real Tigers is it's the other way around. I, I like that contradiction. So once I got the um, Tigers in a position that I liked, um, I wanted to put them in a forest. So all I did was draw one tree and then flipped it, and then just threw it down a bunch of times to change the scale. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I run it, I would get a different forest. It's magic. <laughs> so here's what the final illustration looks like. And uh, I like to make up like little funny stories in my head when I'm, when I'm making things. So, and I, I have to hide things. There's actually, so, there's a, a, a guy and a girl in the band. And so, this represents the girl, uh, Ming, because she only has pink flowers, whereas this side, the guy doesn't. Um, you know, he's got to keep his manhood. He's got to be a real man to, to support pink. Um, so, I kept pink on this side, um, but Ming's kind of hot, so I put this little owl in here, and I'm totally checking out her ass. <laughs> <laughs> now, on a sadder note, the, uh, the guy, Eric Miranda, uh, his sister actually passed away of, of cancer, um, and her name was Kelly John, and so I actually carved her initials into the tree um, behind here, and she's watching his back. So, uh, now, now I, I'm thinking all these like little stories. So, um, so it's, like, it's a scary situation, right? It's scary. There's tigers. There's a bird. No. No. What's a little bird? Ha! And the bird's like, what? <laughs> no, watch out, little bird. What? The bird's like, you see, I got a fucking stick. <laughs> You want a piece of this? <laughs> so the band suggested that the next album be Two Dead Tigers and the Bird with the Stick. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great idea. So um, the trees are randomly generated, the grass is randomly generated. Um, so again, it's just a really quick technology. I think like six pieces of grass and then you wrote this little system to, to help me out. Um, and so I did things like a record sleeve, um, a poster, pull up poster on the inside, um, as far as the back CD cover, the actual CD itself. So even just using traditional graphic design, I'm still using a lot of these random processes to create things quicker and more interesting than if I you know, had to try to, to do them uh, manually. Now, exhibitions. I'm just going to talk about some, some exhibitions because about half of my time is research and development. You know, we're slammed if we have four or five clients a year. Um, the rest of the time is we're really trying to work out ideas and concepts, and a lot of these ideas end up in, in shows or galleries or whatnot or stuff that nobody ever sees. But here are some exhibitions. Um, my first solo show was actually here in Barcelona, uh, not here, but in Spain, uh, in 2006 in Barcelona. And again, these are just some examples of, of art that's, that's uh, generated using algorithms but mapping um, drawings to them. And uh, so these are just a, a few of the um, visual outputs from this uh, series. Um, I always want to talk about this one. It's kind of the most important because um, it was the first file that I finished. And I sent it to the printer in Barcelona. And about four days later, I got a call back in Spanish telling me I was out of my fucking mind. And I said, uh, what's the problem? I said, I can't print this, fucking asshole. So, why? He says, uh, well, every time I try to send it to print, it actually crashes my computer. <laughs> and I said, oh. He says, do you realize that behind this circle is 5,000 things that nobody can fucking see? <laughs>
So I really want to talk about this stuff. But again, these are just some other, some other outputs here. Now, because it's vector-based, I basically can scale it to any size. So this is, a, this is a home in Hollywood, this is a couple, and this is the entryway to their house. Um, they can measure their wall, and it can actually get um, uh, scaled and printed like wallpaper. So this is an entryway of this couple in uh, Hollywood. Random Assistant. Uh, this is an exhibition that I did um, just a few months ago in Rovereto, Italy, and, and Lisbon, Portugal. And the idea was that I was going to print out these pieces that were one meter by three meter, and I was going to remove the color from the pieces, and then I was going to invite the public to actually color the work for me. Um, so we set up these cubes, and uh, here you can see some of the prints going up. They're just kind of like big black and white coloring books. And uh, I just took ordinary kids' uh, school chalk, and, uh, and then I, I, I gave them a little glass of water and a brush. And then what you could do is you could, you could rub the pigment on, and then you could dip the brush in the water, and then pick up the chalk and put it back down. So it became like a watercolor. Now, there were no rules. You could do whatever you wanted. I just installed the work, and the public had a total free reign to do whatever they wanted. So it became this really interesting social experiment, because some people were insane. Um, this woman spent three hours, and she's like, this is mine, fuck you, this is mine. This is mine. <laughs> you know, and she's like, 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 she was there for like three hours, and felt so bad. She's like, no, my butterfly. And she very meticulously did these, these, these gradients. And uh, people could do whatever they wanted. So, you know, I was sort of letting the, the, the public, uh, you know, just have a go at it. So, you know, here's the start of it. Um, this woman, uh, she was actually a, an American living in Italy. And, and at one point, she was like, this is taking too fucking long. And she pulled out her phone, and she's like, yeah, no, I need four of you. Yeah, come down, you gotta help me with this fucking thing, it's huge. And the next thing I know, there's like four people that bought it for it, where do we call her? You know?